I often find that there's lots of students out there that are kind of like attending school but they're not really engaged and they're listening but they're not really hearing. So they're present but that's all they are. I don't even know what this morning's about. I'm not sure what it's about. <laughs> no clue. <laughs> I don't know. I, ain't got a clue. I don't have a clue what's going on this morning, but uh, I'm sure it'll help. If they don't know what's coming up, then that's OK. It's very hard to inform them about what the, what's going to happen when actually it's very much a spectacle and a show that they're going to be part of. And so therefore, you can't really prepare them for some of this stuff. I wouldn't have come along today if I had any doubts. No, absolutely not. People's reputations go before them and from what I can see there's a willing and open audience in front of them. It is all about you and where you want to be and what you want out of life. Good morning Newark! Good morning! Oh I'm loving that. What I'm doing really is getting them to be motivated about themselves, so I'm not telling them what to get motivated about. They start to indulge themselves with a big picture of their life about what it could be like. The more clear or the greater clarity that that picture gives them and the more detail it gives them, the better chance they've got of getting motivated about doing their studies now so that in fact they can get to that. So in this case, I work on a variety of motivational techniques. I look at um, their personal effectiveness, which is overcoming their challenges. And also I get them to understand that it's them that's gonna fix their world and they need to start doing some of that stuff now. If it's about switching on someone's light in their head about where they want to be in the world, then all I'm doing is switching on their light. I don't then get to do it. I don't help them in that way. All I get to do is just help them switch it on so they can realise what's important to them in their world. That's all. It's all about your emotion and your passion and everything else. There's no such thing as future, sir, so what is there then? What, please, would you dare to dream? It's good this, isn't it? It's good, eh? I'm loving this. Hands up, please, as well, just out of interest. In fact, what you've written down is something you actually really want to do. He's made me more confident in myself, and he's very, very good, actually. He's changed the way I think about life and everything like that. Yeah, I thought it was very inspirational, thank you. It really helped me open up my mind to what I really want to do when I'm older and stuff. Impact-wise, I think, you know, it's, it's 10 out of 10. Yeah, it was good fun. It taught me a lot about being positive and way of thinking about life. I live for today. It made me think that I need to focus and get my head down and work harder and just think about myself really because like I said, no one else cares about what you're going to do when you're older. He's a, he's a great man. <laughs> Keith is clearly very, very talented, uh, extremely good communicator. It is not easy to engage the attention of a room full of young people of that particular age. I've learned to be a lot more confident because I'm not normally that confident. I've got a completely new way of thinking now and <laughs> time to put it in action. Come on. Like just being more confident at school and revising more and just get what I can achieve really. There are young people there who will reflect upon what he's saying and I believe 
won't go away and forget it 20 minutes later. I don't want to go in the RAF, so Cheers. fully help me get my head down and get the results I need. It teaches you, sir, to do what you want to do, you've got to believe in yourself. I'm not negative anymore, I'm positive, and um, I'm going to be me now instead of someone else. <laughs> Stop laughing at me! He's a legend, he's a legend. Yeah, he's really, he's good. <laughs>